Yeah, great question. So. Uh, one of my w that's one of my skills that I, not as many people in radio have that has helped me a long way. So I've mostly been doing stuff just like on iMovie. Recently, I was like, let's try and up it a little bit. Um, and by the way, you can learn anything on YouTube. Anybody here is making an excuse about knowing anything and not knowing how to do something, you're full of <laughs> Learn it on YouTube. I'll tell you right to your face, you are full of so Yeah. yeah Two, two weeks ago, I had no idea how to use this damn program, and now I'm producing videos for clients and, and myself and the show and, and all that stuff. You can learn anything on YouTube. Um, side note. But as far as video production, the world we live in is, is digital content, right? And the more content you're producing, the more people you're hitting, the more brand awareness you're bringing. Just for examples, when it comes down to video production for our show, our, our competition are not other radio stations. I don't, I don't believe we're competing against any other radio station. We're competing against distractions. Everything, your phone, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, Snapchat, whatever, TikTok now, whatever, all that stuff. So the second people get out of their car and they're not listening to it, or they're not listening to it on, a, on an app, where are they? Facebook, Instagram, where are you? TikTok, Snapchat, whatever the case may be. You should be there too. They got out of the car and they're listening to the radio, now they're on their Facebook, guess what? So are we. So now the bit that we did last week in, in the studio, I record, record it all. Throw it in Final Cut, sync that up, pump it out, boom. You got video podcasts, you know? Um, one thing, I, I forgot to charge my camera because I'm an idiot, but if I were to record it today, I have my mic on right now. Guess what? I have a podcast now. This is content. If you do a podcast and you videotape it, you have podcasts, you have video, you have all these different forms. You can transcribe it to a blog post. Right YouTube. YouTube, Instagram, and everywhere. And you, and you do it in post. Now you have, you can take 15 seconds here and there of an hour thing. You got posts for a month, you know? And you are producing content over and over and over. And there's nothing more valuable than that right now. Uh, I will say this, produce content with value. Where do you bring value? What do you want to tell the world? What do you bring to people? If it's websites, maybe you learn something new and you, or you found a new way to do something or just something you learned that somebody doesn't even know. Videotape, put it up, show you how you do it. It's your value. Maybe you learned a trick or hint. Cool, put it up. Um, if you're DJ, you're learning something. Videotape yourself screwing it up and ask somebody. Dude, like, there's so much content that can be absorbed in so many different ways. Um, and there's like crazy rules out there. Some people say you should be producing 100 pieces of content a day, which sounds nuts. But if you do 30 tweets and 40 Instagram stories and you have post-production content you can post on YouTube and, and a blog post and, uh, and, a, and podcasts or pieces of podcasts that you post, you throw it in the headliner app, now you can put the audio and video there's so many different ways to produce content. So video, I think, is really important to creating a brand. But uh, also just being in front of people the way they absorb content now. And so not only do you do things that on the air people are like, oh, I gotta, I gotta see that, that, that visual of that, and they can go see it later, um, or on or live, you know, um, I think that's super important. If the co conversations that people are having now, people are watch, people watch, people on YouTube play, watching other people play video games. A nine-year-old kid that sits there and watch other people play Fortnite. He has Fortnite on his damn PS. You could play it. You could just, you could do that. But he watches other people play for like four hours straight. It's the craziest thing to me. And these people make a ton of money. You know, but that's the value. That's value. I mean, it's nine, it's value for a nine-year-old, but the, you know, whatever, whatever it is. Um, so I do think video, when it connects to radio, I think it's what keeps radio alive. You grow, you grow with every media source, more media source. I don't think that's the only thing that keeps radio alive, because I think there's a lot of value in local radio, but um, I do think you have to evolve and, and move with it. And every person in radio is looking for someone that can do video for them. I guarantee you. That's why I learned to do it for myself <laughs> and the other people on the show. Now I'm, pretty, now I'm more, much more valuable than I was two weeks ago. Um, and that's the sort of thing you can negotiate a raise for, right? Oh yeah, the more value you have, you can, I mean, whether it's a raise or, or different job titles or, right. yeah man, it's, yeah, the more value you have, the better. Learn to do, you, the more you can do, period, yeah. the better. Yeah. <laughs>